and welcome to another tarot reading from me. This is going to be the weekly predictions reading, meaning predictions for the following week. And as usual, I remind you that this is going to be a general, timeless prediction, meaning it's going to be available for, for roughly 7 to 10 days from the moment that you come across this video. And yes, I have asked Spirit, as usual, to help me choose the right crystals for this reading. So I chose them instinctively, intuitively, however you want to call it, based on feeling. And these are the three options for those of you who would like to choose with just crystals. File number one, you have this um, ruby zoisite crystal. Pile number two, you have this rose quartz crystal. Pile number three, you have this citrine cluster crystal. So, you can pause the video if you need more time to choose your pile. Once again, my recommendation is that you close your eyes, take some deep breaths, meditate upon the question maybe address the question to you know spirit or god or whatever deity you might follow and then open your eyes and choose the first pile instinctively and if you feel drawn to more than one pile of course you are free to watch two or even all three of them and see which messages resonate only take the messages that resonate for you thank you and i will see you at your reading so this is the recording process, um, this is the selection process I mean for an oracle card for each pile. For those of you who would like to choose with oracle cards as well as crystals. Spirit, what is the following week going to bring for pile number one, the people who chose the ruby zoicide crystal? What is the following, alright, two of them wanted to come out, I can choose two. So I'm going to choose again, Spirit. What, what, what does the following week bring for pile number one, the people who chose the ruby zoicide crystal? Help me choose the right oracle card, spirit. Help me choose the right oracle card, spirit. All right, this one. Spirit, what messages do you have for the following week or roughly 7 to 10 days from now for pile number 2, the people who chose the Rose Quartz Crystal? Help me choose the right oracle card, Spirit. What message do you have? Okay. Spirit, what message do you have for pile number 3, the people who chose the uh, Citrine Quartz Crystal? What does the following week bring for them? What messages do they need to hear about the following week? What messages do they need to hear? No, this one. All right, so pile number one, you have Cougar Assertive. I'm going to read the descriptions when I get to the oracle cards. Now, pile number two, you have Puffin and Partnership. Pile number three, you have Peacock and Vibrancy. Nice. All right. So, these are your three piles. You can take as much time as you need to choose the right one for you. And if you feel drawn to several of them, you are free to watch several or even all of them and take whichever messages resonate for you. I will see you at your reading. Welcome once again. I wanted to record another short uh, video for those of you who would like to choose with both oracle cards and crystals. And the reason I arranged the oracle cards like this is so that you don't see the messages underneath because I don't want you to be influenced by anything. So I want you to choose instinctively. Uh, so, pile number one, this is your card and this ruby zoisite crystal.
Pile number two, you have this card and or this rose quartz crystal. Pile number three, you have this card over here and or this citrine cluster crystal. All right, so these are your three options. Once again, my recommendation is that you close your eyes, take some time to meditate upon the question. Uh, you can even address specific individual questions and ask spirit or God or whoever you hold as a higher power to send you to the right pile for you and choose the first option that stands out to you instinctively. And of course, if you feel drawn to two or even all three of them, you can watch all of them and see whichever messages resonate. Those are the ones for you. All right, so I will see you at your reading. So welcome pile number one. This is your reading if you have chosen this card that says Cougar in Assertive and or this Ruby Zoisite Crystal. This is going to be the selection process for all cards and you can skip if you want to get directly to your reading. So Spirit, what messages do you have for pile number one about the following week? What do they need to hear, Spirit? The people who chose the Ruby Zoicide Crystal, what do they need to hear? Alright, I'm going to take another one. Spirit, what does pile number one need to hear about the following week? Help me choose a tarot pile. What does pile number one need to hear about the following week? Spirit, what messages do you have for pile number one about the following week? The people who chose the Ruby Zoicide Crystal. What do what messages do you have for them for the following week, Spirit? What do they need to hear right now about the following? All right, I can't choose all of these. Uh, what do they need to hear about the following week, Spirit? Help you choose the right oracle card. Yeah, okay. I think that's enough. All right, so you have titanium rainbow quartz multifaceted there are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you're asking about all right so if there's someone specific or something specific aquamarine divine life purpose trust the signs and your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment nice all right All right, so, and oh, let me read the message for this. It says, Cougar assertive. In silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. Nice. And now this one, Red Coral, number 49, Feminine for Chakra Fire. All right, so I'm going to read the description from the booklet, number 49. So, Red Coral. I am Red Coral. I am from the ocean, yet I am the blood of Mother Earth. I am your protection against natural emergency and personal misfortune and the courage you need for survival. I have exceptional healing, cleansing, rebuilding, and invigorating power. At my foundation is passion that can be excited to rage. I am the stone of the home of safety and well-being. You can rely on my wisdom to assist in your journey. Remember the ocean from where I come and protect my home as I protect yours. Nice. Okay already interesting messages i just have to fix the camera a little bit be right back all right back so now i'm going to select the tarot cards so spirit what can you tell me about pile number one the people who chose the ruby zoicide crystal this one doesn't feel right 
Spirit, what can you tell me about their following week? What do they need to hear about the following week, Spirit? What does pile number one need to hear about the following week? What's going to happen? What opportunities? What challenges? All right. You have Queen of Chalices or Queen of Cups. The Standing Stone. I forgot. I keep forgetting which one this is. I need to check again. Um, number 11. Strength. No, this can't be strength. I think this is... Um, oh yeah, it is strength. Interesting. Okay. So, strength. And seven of chalices, which is seven of cups. Interesting. And the ace of wands. Nice. The Five of Pentacles, the Five of Chalices, or the Five of Cups. Okay, let me see some more cards. Spirit, what can you tell me about pile number one, the people who chose the Ruby Zoicide Crystal? What is the following week going to bring for them? What is the following week going to bring for them, Spirit? Actually, I feel like it should be the other way around, but I don't know why. All right. Pile. This one? Nah. I'm going to shuffle again. Spirit, what's the following week going to bring for pile number one? Tell me. What do they need to know? What does pile number one need to know about the following week? No. What does pile number one need to know about the following week, Spirit? Help me choose the right card. Alright, so you have the King of Cups underneath the Queen of Cups. You have the Seven of Pentacles. The Chariot. The Seven of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. All right, so there are some strong messages showing up here. First of all, clearly there are going to be concerns on your mind with respect to your finances. It's really interesting. You have Ace of Wands and then you have this card that says Assertive, Cougar Assertive. And it says, in silence, you find power, claim your leadership role and take action. Also, it seems to be mirroring this card, the Chariot, which is also a card that speaks of taking action. And also about silence. It's really interesting because it's about number seven and that's about introspection. And you'll have the number seven again here. And the seven again here. Hmm. So to me, this is showing that the following week, you would benefit from keeping and you have the seven again here. Wow. Like the number seven is really coming up here. So this shows that in the following week, so roughly seven to 10 days from now, you would benefit from going within, keeping your plans to yourself. And I feel like this message is especially strong with the Seven of Swords here. I feel like if you speak about what you are planning, you might come across people who try to sabotage you. Um, especially if you are in an unfortunate situation where maybe you have to deal with a lot of narcissists. Maybe you even live with narcissists, right? Um, it's not a good idea to speak of your plans. And yet it is still a good idea to focus on having a plan. 
of action and sticking to it. But be careful about what you re reveal to the people around you. There is especially a message here. that I feel like you might be blinded by the lights, if that makes sense. You might be having a lot of uh, different choices and opportunities. And I feel like most likely this has to do with career and, you know, status, stuff like that. But for some of you, this could even be about a romantic pursuit. And whichever the situation, you are pondering, you know, taking action. But I feel like you have a little bit of analysis paralysis. You either have trouble seeing the opportunities around you and and or simultaneously you feel like you have so many opportunities you don't know which one to choose and um, there's definitely a message here that you need to take action because you have the seven of cups and you have the chariot underneath so i guess like the message is you know it doesn't matter how many options you have because if you don't take action on them they don't mean anything basically um, they're not going to bring you anything positive in your life unless you take action and then you all and there's like this double message here i feel like some of you are hesitating you know you're you're in your comfort zone looking outside dreaming about the things you want to do but there's something most likely fear is keeping you about oh I feel like for some of you, you are um, literally afraid that by pursuing what you want, you're not going to have the money you need. You're not going to have the financial security or maybe the social support that you would like. And that is holding you back. There is definitely a message that, you know, forget about what other people think because that's keeping you in your comfort zone. You have a lot of strength look at this you have the queen of cups and the king of cups i feel like wow it's really interesting now i just realized this you have this card with red coral that spoke about the ocean and it said like i live in the ocean but i'm also fire wow there's like a message here of like still waters run deep whoa i think i need to blow out this candle before i have an accident here hold on have to pause again to fix this all right, hopefully it won't fall down. Um, my little hedge. So where was I? Yeah, so you have this like message that you have a lot of inner strength. Like I feel on the surface, like maybe people see you as a really quiet, introverted person, but you have a lot of inner strength. And the message here is also with the cougar and the seven of swords and the king and the queen of cups. I feel like definitely the message is, you know, be decisive, but quiet, like a panther, basically. Go after what you want, but don't give too much away about what your plans are to other people. And always be careful to, you know, use your emotional intelligence to spot people who may not be on your side and might try to sabotage you. And always remember that you can always land on your feet. That's another thing. Because of those five of cups and five of pentacles, I really feel like a lot of you are stuck in um, not just analysis paralysis, but looking towards all the things you've lost. Literally made, made me think of that song, All the Things I've Lost on You by LP. Um, so it's like you're really kind of crying over spilled milk, especially with the five of cups. But look at this. You have the five of cups and then you have the nine of cups underneath. This is really, <laughs> this is literally a message that you, it, as, as soon as you turn around and you recognize the opportunities literally right behind you, you are going to find that you can have your wishes come true. There's help also right around the corner as well. For some of you, this literally could be this message here that you're going to find help with respect to your finances and career uh, from a faraway place, from foreign lands, foreigners, people that you may know who are from a foreign, foreign land or faraway place, maybe a different culture. In any case, within the next week, this is not a time to 
basically spend too much time pondering or resting or hesitating. This is about you taking action. This is about you becoming assertive. That's why you also have the Ace of Wands. I feel like um, you, many of you have already started on a path towards working towards your finances, towards your career. Maybe you're studying something that's going to bring you a lot of money. I feel like the message here is that whatever you have been working on is actually right on track with your overall purpose. The message is that you are doing well. Keep doing what you're doing, basically. And you will see results. It's only a matter of time. And also with that Ace of Wands, there's a renewal of energy, of purpose. And there's also, again, this con like renewed, repeated message of take action, but also be sly about your purpose and about how you go about doing things, right? As in, you know, don't... Um, go after what you want like a bull in a china shop but instead you know tiptoe like a panther basically you know be quiet and you also have here divine life purpose trust the signs and your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment this is another message that um basically it's like you're on the right track i feel like many of you you're definitely having a sharp intuition with this queen and king of cups so like you are in a position where you are emotionally mature enough and you can listen to your intuition because it's going to read you lead you sorry in into the right direction so don't doubt yourself i feel like many of you are emotionally mature so i just wanted to read this again multifaceted there are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you're asking about Oh, wow. Like, wow. Now that I read this, I mean, especially if you have asked about a specific person or about a specific situation, especially if you have asked about a specific person something, or if you have been thinking about a specific person lately, um, I feel like this is a message. This person has a lot of uh, not a lot of, but there's something about them that is not what they seem because that makes a lot of sense with the seven of swords and the seven of cups as well you could be very you know impressed by someone who you have a high opinion of but they come across as a lot basically shiny brighter and shinier than they actually are so be careful about that Overall, I feel like you're going to have some kind of a wish come true during this 7 to 10 day period. Now, obviously, it can be something small or it can be something really big. But, yes, one way to look at this is, yes, you're coming closer. You're getting closer to having some kind of a wish fulfillment during this time. But another way to also look at this is this is a good time to focus on filling your own cup. So becoming more self-sufficient emotionally, you know, learning to nurture yourself, basically everything that falls under the um, category of self-love and, you know, self-parenting, stuff like that. Basically not becoming emotionally needy. Now, and again, for some of you, this might be more... Um, you know, on point than for others. For some of you, this could literally be about something you have been working on coming true during this time. Right, so this is pretty much what I can say, pile number one, so I hope that you have found this useful, and if you have, please like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell to see when I will post a new video and also if you're interested in a personal reading please email me at the email address that i will leave in the video description i will send you a full pricing list and you can also find testimonials from former clients that i've had who have purchased personal tarot readings and i will link that link with the reviews in the video description in case you're curious and also, please comment in the comment section with respect to anything you would like to say about this video. And um, another thing that I wanted to say is I'm going to be linking my astrology channel as well. 
in the pinned comment and in the video description and if you're interested in astrology you can go ahead and check it out maybe subscribe i would greatly appreciate it and i hope to see you at the next reading on my channel have a nice week bye so welcome pile number two this is your reading if you have chosen this um rose quartz crystal and or this card with puffin and partnership and I will be reading the description in a bit after I select all the other cards. So this is going to be the card selection. If you don't want to sit through it, you can use the timestamps to go directly to the interpretation. Spirit, what can you tell me about pile number two? What is the following week going to bring for them? The people who chose the rose quartz crystal. What can you tell me about pile number two? The people who chose the rose quartz crystal. What is the following week going to bring for them, Spirit? What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? What does pile number two need to hear about the following week? What does pile number two need to hear about the following week? Okay. Spirit, what does pile number two need to hear about the following week? The people who chose the rose quartz crystal, what do they need to hear about the following week, spirit? What does pile number two need to hear about the following week? What does pile number two, the people who chose the rose quartz, need to hear about the following week? What do they need to hear about the following week, spirit? All right. So let's see. You have Garnet, purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. Pretty strong message. Uh, all right. Larimar, sensitive emotions. Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. All right. And then you have this card that says partnership puffin. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. And then you have nettle, masculine, west, Mars, fire, number 36. I'm going to read the description from the booklet for this one. I am nettle. I am purification. If properly handled, I offer strength and healing. I take the sting out of the problems of the heart. I am the tonic that keeps the flow of emotions in check. Protect yourself with the fire of the nettle. Injury may result from problems or issues that are not properly handled. Wow. <laughs> There's like a double message of purification here because you also have these like about sensitive emotions purification this one literally says purification and detoxification and you might have some there might be accidents and problems of the heart all right so already there's a pretty like loaded message here let me see where i'm gonna put this here so let me see what the tarot cards have to say spirit what can you tell me about pile number two the people who chose the rose quartz crystal what do they need to know about the following week about the next no, I'm not feeling this. <laughs> the following 7 to 10 days, Spirit, what can you tell me about them? What do they need to know? What does pile number 2 need to know? What do they need to know? What does pile number 2 need to know, Spirit? What does pile number two need to know? What does pile number two need to know? I'm not so sure about this one. Another card spirit. What does pile number two need to know about the following week? What does pile number two need to know about the following week? All right.
Seven of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Seven of Chalices or Seven of Cups, Eight of Wands, the moon i'm not surprised already confirmation of that sensitivity emotions nettle and everything two of pentacles nice all right so let me see some more spirit what can you tell me about pile number two the people who chose the rose quartz crystal what do they need to know about the following week what do they need to hear spirit i'm not feeling this one reshuffle spirit what does pile number two need to know about the following week what does pile number two need to know about the following week what do they need to know what does pile number two need to know about the following week what does pile number two need to know about the following week all right two of them so five of cups the hanged man. The queen of wands. The king of swords. The knight of pentacles. The six of wands again. Wow, I'm not surprised. Like so many confirmations already here. You have the moon and the queen of wands. The queen of wands is a card that speaks of you having a shadow side and self-sabotaging. And the moon does not surprise me one bit because you also had, like, uh, you know, emotional pain. And you have here sensitive emotions, times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. And here you have purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life and on top of that what i notice is you have the number nine repeatedly here i mean not repeatedly within this card you have the number nine which is actually ruled by mars and it, it so they probably knew this when they made the card mars fire right so and then you have the nine that number nine is a card that has to deal with intense emotions and you also have here number nine and moon so potentially volatility So that's interesting. And you have puff in partnership about accepting your colorful personality and let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you best results. So first of all, there's a message not to isolate yourself. And can I just say, first of all, before I get into it, uh, if you feel drawn to pile number one, you might want to check it out because there are some cards that are similar, but only if you feel drawn to it. Otherwise, forget it. And, if, you know, there's definitely a message that you need to analyze yourself. So when I get the moon, generally, I... And especially in your case, it's repeated that, you know, this is a time when you need to start to analyze yourself, go within, understand your emotions. The moon can actually especially speak of childhood traumas. So and maybe not childhood, but let's say old wounds, right? Uh, things that have been maybe stored in your subconscious for a long time and have been basically blocking you from your progress. And it's especially poignant here because you also have the Eight of Wands and you have the King of Swords underneath. So there's this really strong message and also the Six of Wands coming out twice um, and the Seven of Pentacles. So and the Knight of Pentacles, like you have a lot of cards that say uh, you have worked hard, right? And you are on the right track, but there is a part of you that is sabotaging yourself. Um, like you need to understand what part of you is not happy about something because unless you deal with those issues probably things like repressed emotions you're not going to be able to progress and this could also point to especially people who maybe have dealt with depression or self-doubt 
this is a good time to analyze those feelings and what the root of those feelings are. So again, for those of you who are inclined to, you might consider therapy, but it, this could just be, you know, taking time to analyze yourself, maybe reading up on your, you know, on mental health on your own without seeing a therapist or asking someone you trust uh, for advice, stuff like that. And it's really important that you take care of your emotional side during this time because you need to sort that thing out in order to get to real progress. And what I was going to say is I definitely see that you actually have massive potential here. And with the Eight of Wands, especially, and the King of Swords underneath, this is a message that you actually can achieve whatever you set out to achieve. So you have very strong reasoning abilities and you're going to have like really, really good judgment during this time. And the Eight of Wands says that energetically the path is clear for you to achieve whatever you set out to achieve. Um, but you need to basically, how should I put it, you know, clean your subconscious in order to make sure that there's not a part of you that is sabotaging the other part of you that wants to succeed, if that makes sense. Then it's really weird because you have the Six of Wands and the Hanged Man underneath which speaks of like, there might be some confusion, you know, there might be some sense of limbo for you, especially during the next week, uh, roughly seven to 10 days. The six of wands is a card that on the one hand says you're, you might be getting some kind of huge, uh, for some of you, it could be huge. I mean, of course it will be in accordance to your efforts because you also have here the knight of pentacles, and you have the Seven of Pentacles. So I think for many of you, you have been working on something. The Two of Pentacles especially speaks of you having to juggle multiple tasks at the same time within this following roughly one week. It's really important that you manage your time and also find enough time to rest. Um, but what I was going to say is you are on track, right, to receive some kind of a reward. So for some of you, this could be, you know, you might be winning something, a promotion, a job. Uh, most likely it's something to do with your profession because of that six of wands. Maybe some, you know, extra respect, some accolades at your workplace or something. Um, you're, you might get some recognition somehow, you know. And of course, if you are someone who has like, a, let's say, a channel or something on YouTube, you could be getting more followers. Or if you're on Instagram or something like that, you could be getting more visibility somehow. But it's really interesting because you have here the hangman underneath it. Um, which shows that it's like, this could be interpreted in a way for some of you, you feel stuck. Like, uh, maybe you have achieved something and you don't know what the next step should be. This, again, most likely this has to do with your path in life or your career. I'm seeing something major here with respect to your path. I, I don't think it's so much about relationships. Because I'm not seeing a lot of relationships energy here overall. I am seeing your emotions being important but not with respect to a specific person or relationship um and of course this doesn't mean that there can't be someone it's just that, that that's not what is coming out here right i mean you might know what your emotions are connected to so maybe they involve a very specific person but where i was getting at is the six of wands speaks of needing to have an attitude of gratitude on the one hand and on the other hand it reminds you that whatever you have achieved up until this point is valid. So it's like maybe you think that you are far behind with respect to your plans. Uh, there is so much more that you would like to achieve, let's say. And basically the message is that you need to be grateful and appreciative and respect yourself and acknowledge everything you have achieved so far. Because it's not just about, you know, reaching the final um goal it's also about all the little milestones you have achieved up until that point so recognize that so and, and again for some of you this could literally be specifically that you might achieve some important milestone during this following week i need to blow out this candle because it's making me a little bit anxious hold on i'm gonna pause just in case all right back i think i have been smoked like a ham during this video um, any case, I put this nice little thing here. So, back to where was I? Basically, yes, this could be that you might be achieving some kind of a milestone. Really, there might be some cause for celebration during this time. 
or at the very least you're close maybe it won't happen within the next seven to ten days but you are on the right track and i definitely feel like for most of you this is about career and finances because look at this you have the knight of pentacles here the knight of pentacles speaks of you making steady progress the seven of pentacles as well right you're working at something and most likely you have started working on something for quite some time. But the message mainly is you need to take care of yourself. You need to rest. Another message is maybe write down your dreams because your dreams could help you understand your emotions and your subconscious better during the, the following period, uh, seven to ten days or so. And another message is with the two of pentacles, very important that you manage your time. Um, and another message is I feel don't be crying over spilled milk right hmm. so again I feel like some of you are caught in the past so for some of you this could be about maybe a relationship or something but I feel it's not not a specific relationship I feel like it's a build-up of multiple emotional problems maybe uh, or bad memories bad experiences that have happened throughout your entire life and you, there's a side of you that's just negative, that's caught up in the past. And you need to figure out how to deal with that, how to heal yourself. To be gentle with yourself, especially because I feel with this King of Swords and the Queen of Wands, you're the kind of person that probably has an attitude of just suck it up and keep going. And you probably ignore your emotions. Well, these cards are definitely saying stop ignoring your emotions. This is not... It's not going to work in the long term, right? You need to deal with whatever is bothering you, whatever your anxieties have been. It's a time of purging. Look at this. It says purification and detoxification in your life. This could literally be, you know, um, maybe even cutting out certain relationships from your life or just, yeah, whatever is not working, whatever is no longer serving your higher purpose. And look, there's a message here that you are on the right track and you shouldn't be worried about what you have thought to be missed opportunities. Because you are going exactly the way that you should be going. Look at this. Basically, you are where you're supposed to be right now in your life. Don't beat yourself up. The hanged man is still kind of making me feel like you, you're going to be feeling in limbo. There's going to be some confusion. But most likely it's not, you know, a prolonged state. It's going to be a direct consequence of you starting to ask yourself questions. Starting to go within yourself and understanding your emotions and where they come from, right? And I think you're probably, because as a, as a consequence of this, you're going to be going through a phase of maybe feeling a little bit confused about things. Maybe you might even be going through a complete change of perspective with respect to something. Um, so since, again, it's connected to the Six of Wands, this could be about something you wanted to pursue. Or um, this could be connected to the moon. Maybe about some people that you have believed in have disappointed you and you might change your opinions about them. And the Seven of, of Cups and the Queen of Wands underneath could speak of, yeah, self-deception, I think. So there's a need to really analyze yourself and try to look at yourself from, from an outside perspective. That's another thing, because the moon tends to show that you might be too emotional about something to see things clearly. Maybe your overall um, energy right now is pretty emotional without you even realizing it. And especially with the King of Swords and the Moon having these really dichotomous energies, this could definitely speak of like one side of you thinking, no, I've got this, I'm in control, I'm rational, I know what I see. But actually, you have these major blind spots that you keep jumping over uh, within your reasoning. So this is why it's really important to get an outside perspective, maybe from therapy or from someone that you can trust and you can ask for advice. All right. So this is pretty much what I see for you pile number two. And I hope that you have found this interesting because I definitely have. And if you have, do not forget to like the video. So subscribe to my channel. It will only take a second and it's free. 
And also, if you're interested in a personal tarot reading, I will leave a link in the video description with reviews I've gotten from previous clients. And you can also email me at the email address in the video description, and I can send you a pricing list and other details about how to get a private reading. And also, if you would like, I would very much appreciate it if you would comment in the comment section. And I also have an astrology channel, which I will be linking in the video description and in the pinned comment. So if you're interested in astrology, go ahead and check it out. Maybe give me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And yes, this has been pretty much it. And I hope that you have a good week. And I hope to see you at my next tarot reading. Bye! So hello pile number three, this is your reading if you have chosen this card over here with Peacock and Vibrancy, for which I will be reading the description when I select all the cards, and or this little um, citrine cluster. So this is going to be the card selection phase. If you don't want to sit through it, I'm going to add timestamps. You can jump directly to the interpretation. Spirit. Tell me about pile number three. What do they need to hear about the following week? What is the following week going to bring them? Spirit, what is the following week going to bring for pile number three? The people who... All right. Spirit, what can you tell pile number three about the following week? What do they need to hear the following seven to ten days? The people who chose the citrine crystal... What do they need to hear about the fo I can't select all of these. What do they need to hear about the following week, Spirit? What do they need to hear about the following week? All right. Moldavite, unconventionality. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others. Nice. That's actually going hand in hand with the peacock card. Tiger's eye, self-confidence through God confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. Nice. Eye of the tiger. Actually, it's tiger's eye, but you know. Um, peacock vibrancy. You were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. There's a repeating theme already. And now I have number 38, Pine, Masculine, North, Mars, Air. I'm going to read the description from the booklet. Number 38. I am Pine. I am the evergreen of winter. I am the oldest living thing on this earth. I am longevity. I am a provider of seeds and nuts for nourishment. I am fertility. I am abundance. Tap the earth energy that runs through me. By burning my needles, I remove negativity, smooth out emotions, strengthen intuition, heal and protect. Become socially aware of all around you. Express your masculine sexuality. Be bold. Go on a vision quest. Demand perfection. I do not content until it is right. I am ancient. I am evergreen. Very nice. All right, very nice. So, a lot of force here, a lot of strength. Let me see what the tarot cards have to say. Spirit, what can you tell me about pile number three? The people who chose the citrine pile number three. What do they need to hear about the following week? What do they need to hear, Spirit? What does pile number three need to hear? I'm not feeling this one. What does pile number three need to hear? What does pile number three need to hear? Tell me, Spirit, what does pile number three need to hear about the following week? What does pile number three need to hear about the following week? Does pile number three need to hear about the following week? No. What does pile number three need to hear about the following week, Spirit? Tell me. 
Water cloud number three. So you have the Horde God, which is the Emperor. Wait, did I take out enough? Yeah, I took. The Two of Swords. The Three of Cups. The Queen of Swords. The King of Wands. The Three of Pentacles. Can you please clarify the Two of Swords for me? What paths are shown by the Two of Swords, Spirit? What are the two paths shown? All right, so I have the Ace of Swords and the Star. Can you please clarify the Ace of Swords for me, Spirit? Knight of Wands. Can you please clarify the Star for me, Spirit? Please clarify the Star for me. Come on, please clarify the star for me. No, this one. Queen of Pentacles, all right. So I'm gonna put these aside as a clarification. Oh, come on. The star, and you have the ace of swords and the knight of wands. Okay, let me see some more cards. Spirit, can you please tell me what does pile number three need to hear about the following week? The people who chose the citrine cluster crystal, what do they need to hear about the next seven to ten days? What do they need to hear? Ah! Spirit, what does pile number three need to hear about the next seven to ten days? What do they need to hear? Pile number three needs to hear about the next seven to ten days. What does pile number three need to hear? I'm really getting, no. No. No, I'm not. I need to pick another one, so I'm going to reshuffle. Spirit, what can you tell me about pile number three? All right, this one. So, the world, the Five of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Three of Swords, wow, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Swords. Bruh. Wow, wow, wow. All right, pile number three. This is intense. Embrace your unconventionality. Like, I feel some of you might have Aquarius energy going on here. It's interesting because you have this three of swords thing. And you have so much three energy.
I feel like there's a message here that heartbreaks have maybe turned you into the queen of, of swords. Like you are, you know, you have become very rational and very, I don't want to say jaded, but hyper rational as kind of a defense mechanism, which is not to say that that's a bad thing. You have probably developed a very sharp eye for BS because of multiple things you have gone through in life. There might be some kind of heartbreak literally happening within this uh, following short period, although maybe, I mean, I, I mean, this could be for some of you. However, I think that this is actually a deeper thing that you have integrated into your personality because of repeated heartbreaks. So, um, there is a message that it's interesting because you have the two of swords and when i clarify the two of swords you got number one you have the ace of swords and clarified by the knight of wands and number two you have the star clarified by the queen of pentacles really interesting so the two of swords kind of shows that you might feel um somewhere you might have to choose between two paths. You know, one path is the Ace of Swords and clarified by the Knight of Wands. The other one is the Star clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. So you need to decide which one you're going to go for. And I feel like the one that is showed by the Ace of Swords is hand in hand with your Queen of Swords card here. So this shows the that you basically have to choose between sticking with rationality and you know defending a new path and a new idea or you can stick to the tried and true and you can but not not just stick to no i didn't say it correctly so you can stick to rationality right and that rationality what is behind it is a desire to fight for your rights and but at the same time a lot of that fighting comes from maybe a little bit of defensiveness because of past experiences or you can choose to basically shine bright like a diamond in the words of Rihanna uh, in the sense that you can choose to embrace your individuality and your uniqueness and underneath that what would be underneath that is a sense of acceptance of you know accepting yourself integrating different parts of yourself and also supporting yourself which I know sounds kind of like weird, but I think for some of you, you have really betrayed yourself maybe in some ways because you learn to become defenses, defensive to protect yourself, to protect your emotions. And in the process, you have lost parts of yourself, you know, like you're no longer whole in some way. And you especially chose to let go of your more vulnerable, uh, unconventional side. Maybe not vulnerable, but unconventional side because of other people's attacks, maybe. Or because you felt betrayed by others and you felt like other people won't accept you and won't embrace who you really are. So you need to maintain this really rational, capable front um, in order to gain approval, if that makes sense. But I'm seeing that you have a very... You know, basically with the High Priestess here, actually, ironically, the message is that you can integrate both your rational and your intuitive side. So you don't have to choose between one side of yourself or the other. And you can choose to just be true to yourself exactly the way you are. And that path will ev eventually lead you to uh, material gain and professional and social success because of that queen of pentacles this also shows this is really weird mm, you have this uh you have the three of pentacles and underneath you have the ten of swords so this is showing some kind of career stress for many of you you know there's some kind of anxiety connected to your professional life The message here is remember that it's always darkest before the dawn. Like maybe some of you literally in the recent past have hit rock bottom with respect to something to do with your professional development. 
Um, this could be something to do with your profession. Either it's literally your career and your career path, or it could be some conflict with maybe a person from work, something like that, and you really have been hurt by this whole experience. Like, you feel like, uh, you know, I don't know, like, you feel like you've done everything and you were just literally stabbed in the back. You know, and the message is, you know, it's always darkest before the dawn. And basically another message is remember that if you hit rock bottom, the only way is up. And it's, there's definitely, you know, yes, you are still hurt. There's like definitely this feeling that you are hurting. And you, uh, it's like beyond anxiety at this point. I feel like you're just, uh, you're really just heartbroken about something. Um, but the message is that it's slowly lifting, you know, it's slowly going to get better. There's definitely a message that you need to work on communication with this three of pentacles. Remember that communication is very important, especially in your professional life. And it, there, there's also like this message that, I mean, for some of you, you might be uh, traveling or you might be having a contact with foreigners during the following week because of this world, the three of wands energy. <clears throat> For some of you, I mean, if you choose to embrace your individuality, you're definitely going to gain more success in the long term. That's definitely a message. And I think for some of you, even more specifically, um, if you are someone who has a social media following, the more you choose to stay true to yourself and integrate every part of yourself, the intuitive and the rational, uh, and the more authentic you are, the more following you will get, the more accolades and recognition you will get. For some of you, even more specifically, you are going to meet friends from abroad or you're going to have some kind of a reunion and travel for it. A reunion with people you really like and care about. Maybe you're even attending some kind of a celebration or a party within the next week, week. Roughly one week, yeah, seven to ten days. There's definitely a lot of three energy, which to me shows Jupiter energy. So there's this message that you need to focus on expansion, optimism, faith. Definitely travel. Like, um, maybe some of you are, you know, people who would really like to travel, but you have, you know, um, postponed it for a long time, maybe because of finances or, I don't know, you didn't have the time or whatever. And there's definitely a message that you should embrace that, you know, if you have any opportunity to travel within roughly the next seven to ten days, you should definitely take that because it's going to make you happy. Remember to just enjoy every day. That's another message, you know, with the three of cups. It's, you know, remember that life is also about little things and embracing every little opportunity for joy, spending time with people you care about. Um, and I feel like this is definitely a strong message because I'm sure many of you looking at these cards have really been focusing on your career or maybe learning new skills. Because you have the emperor and you have the world underneath, this is interesting. So the emperor, for some of you, this is an older man, you know, some kind of an older paternal figure. And this, I mean, for some of you, this could be you, if, I mean, that sounds like you. Someone who is in a masculine, mature sort of energy. Um, but I don't think for most of you, this is you. I think this is a person in your life that will somehow bring you some opportunities. This could be a person that's coming from foreign lands. Like, again, because this is giving me work vibes, this could be, this could be about, you know, someone from work giving you some kind of an opportunity. Maybe for travel. I also, another message here is you can become a leader 
by embracing your uniqueness and learning to find that perfect blend between being intuitive and being rational and knowledgeable as well. But it's really important that you integrate both of these sides. It's like people will respect you and follow you the more you stay true to yourself. I've also just realized now that basically you have this masculine energy here like King of Wands and the the Horn God, which is the Emperor energy. And you also have that Knight of Wands there. Um, and you have this um, message that says Pine Masculine North. And it was something about, you know, embracing your masculine energy. So this is also a message for... I mean, masculine energy basically means being assertive, but it also means don't be afraid to be yourself, to be center stage, you know, basically don't be afraid to take space and be true to yourself. Confidence, basically, it's really, it's a good time to work on your confidence is what I'm saying. Yeah, so this is pretty much what I can see for you, pile number three, and I hope that you have enjoyed it. And if you have, please like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell to see when I will post a new video. And also, if you're interested in a personal tarot reading, you can check out the video description. I've left reviews there done by previous clients who have purchased readings from me. And if you're interested in finding out more about how you can get a reading from me, you can email me at the email address in the video description. I can send you a pricing list and even sample readings and other information. And also, please comment in the comment section with anything you would care to share about this reading. Uh, also, potential ideas for future readings if you have any. And last but not least, I also have an astrology channel, which I also will be linking in the video description as well as in the pinned comments. So if you're interested in astrology, go ahead and check it out. Maybe subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope to see you at your next reading. I hope you have a good week. Bye.